Many rate meters are set to 900 volts as standard. At this voltage, most scintillation detectors and some Geiger tubes work well. There are, however, Geiger tubes that require different voltages. For instance, Russian tubes like this SBM20 almost always want around 400 to 420 volts. So if you want to use one of these tubes with the rate meter set to 900 volts, you would have to adjust the voltage. This can often be kind of tedious. In this video I will present a convenient alternative method of regulating the voltage from 900 volts to any lower voltage with the help of a few Zener diodes. First, you may ask, what is a Zener diode? Here we can describe it as an electrical component that only lets current pass when a certain reverse voltage, the Zener voltage, is reached. Zener diodes might look something like this. Here is a Zener diode with a Zener voltage of 200 volts and here is one with a Zener voltage of 12. I have found two methods that work. Here is the schematic of the first one. It uses, in this case, 500 volts worth of Zener diodes to lower the voltage from 900 volts to 400 volts. A capacitor is used to let the pulses from the detector pass more easily. I have found that this schematic works best for Geiger tubes. If you hook up a scintillator using this circuit, there is a risk that the rate meter will show a way too high count rate. I have not yet figured out why. Here is the second one. This one uses, in this case, 400 volts worth of Zener diodes to make sure the voltage over the detector is always 400 volts. This circuit has a disadvantage in that a lot of current runs to ground through the first resistor and the Zener diodes. This is not efficient and might even cause problems on some meters. It is possible to use these principles to create a regulator with a variable voltage. Here is one that I built. Plug 900 volts into one side of this and the other side will be either 420, 500, or 650 volts, depending on which position the switch is in. I choose the different voltages according to the tube that I plan to use. It uses a modified variant of the first schematic I showed. Here's the module schematic. Note that the switch is a three position switch. It would be possible to change the switch to a rotary switch to get even more voltage options. This is what it looks like on the inside. And just to show you how the module is meant to work, here I plugged it into a rate meter running at 900 volts. As you can see, on the 420 volt setting, we are getting around 420 volts. The same goes for 500 volts and 650 volts. Plugging in a Geiger probe to the other side of the module, it runs just fine. If you happen to know of other Zener diode voltage regulators that would work, or have any other remark, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching this video.